there's lots of things that, that cause doubt. As a pastor, I, I see things every day, deal with things every day that can bring doubt in my mind. A few years ago, I baptized a little girl that died of, of cancer, four years old, a girl named Taylor. Baptized her. Two months later, she died from cancer. Four years old. I remember being in the hospital wing there, the children's hospital. That, that shouldn't exist. A children's hospital wing for little kids dying of cancer. Why does that place exist? And why do school shootings exist? Why do we have to turn on the news and see some guy walked into a, a kindergarten classroom and shot 20 kids? You know? Can cause a lot of doubt in an all-powerful and all-loving God. But we have to be rewired. These children, little Taylor children who die from cancer, children that die drowning, children that die in school shootings. These are little saints that have been carried onto paradise, and we still struggle here. As we sing in our hymn, we feebly struggle, they in glory shine. These little ones have been taken up into the arms of Christ. So when we mourn when these things happen, we're not mourning because we don't know where these children have gone. We mourn because we're still stuck here in this valley of suffering with people that shoot children. So how do you deal with that man? Well, that's what the fifth commandment is. He's not hurting or harming. He's hurting and harming his neighbor and not helping in every physical need. So what you do is you stop that man. That's where you can be political in a way is yeah, men like that shouldn't see the light of day ever again. We pray they come to repentance. We pray they repent and seek forgiveness and receive it from Christ just as everybody else does. But let us treat them that way. They are a murderer, one who has ended life. And it's you can bring mental health into it all you want, and that's fine. But the reality is, one who kills a child is an evil person, demonic. That's what they are. So when these things happen, I never doubt God's love or his power or protection or existence. What I know is the reality of evil and what it does but I see God's mercy in carrying these children to himself. He doesn't abandon them. He never abandons them. He doesn't abandon you either. You'll get through this evil time as well. They were ushered in earlier. You and I will have to wait a while. So I pray for your strength as you pray for mine, that our faith in Christ may not waver, but even more so, we may know that our Lord never wavers, but will carry us gently home rejoicing to his Father. God bless y'all.